She was just lying in all this rubbish, but her tail was just going. It's like an illegal dumping ground in Macedonia where they dump rubbish, animals, dogs, like you get all sorts there. I was helping to volunteer for the rescue that initially found Lola. That got my heartstrings going immediately. After she was ready to travel medically, and once we had the environment ready at home, she came home to us then. I think she was way too friendly. <laughs> She was mostly a Caucasian Shepherd and also a Kengal Shepherd who are most well known for being like livestock guarding animals. But I think she was too friendly to be a dog of her grandeur and size. Probably the job that they initially wanted her to do, which is why we think she was probably dumped. I actually visited the dumping ground that Lola was rescued from six times after we rescued her. Oh, stinks. She was there probably just for about four or five days. She was rescued in September and it took till December till she came to the UK. I just paid for her to go to a local boarding kennel just so she was kept safe, got all her medical bills ticked off, not in any harm's way, learned how to interact with lots of different dogs as well there. She was just an absolute bouncy bundle of joy. Like she lit up every day. She was incredibly cheeky, very vocal, but in like, you know, when they cry, but they're not like physically crying out of sadness, but it's like, oh, mom, love me, or mom, look at me. I truly believe that taking in a dog that's literally had nothing, it just has so much to give. just don't think you can have a better partnership in life to go through and to show you as well what you're really capable of because they bring out the best in you. She was just incredibly woven in to every single element of our day. I don't really know how to describe her. She, I just felt so connected to her. <laughs> she was with me all the time. She was just always so happy and grateful to be with you and like just wanted to spend time with you and wanted to engage with you, like wanted to look at you, wanted to walk with you, wanted to play with you, wanted to be with you. She always had bad hips, which we always knew about and were like managing medically, like hydro, physios, tablets, those kind of things. Oh, you tired, Lola. But then she got quite ill. She completely changed in the course of around three to four months. She was dealing with a lot of chronic pain. She wasn't eating. The vets team were very supportive and they agreed that nothing medically could be done to help her. So the next kind of fairest thing was to enable her to cross with dignity 